Hello everybody, Dr. Corey Singer here today to talk to you about how to do core muscle strengthening. And this is really good for people, particularly that have, well just in general, it's good for good general health, but a lot of times people that are dealing with like lower back disc compressions or um, urinary incontinence, um, lots of different problems in the, in the lower or the pelvic region. Um, you could have uh, problems with your core muscles. This is also really good to practice if you're somebody that sits at a desk for long periods of time because you want to make sure that you have a strong core for that. And um, what the core is. The core is, think of it like a cylinder and it starts at your diaphragm and then it goes all the way down to what are called your kegels, okay, so the, the pelvic floor. The pelvic floor is what we're talking about here. So the top part is the diaphragm, the bottom part is the pelvic floor, and then the rest of it that is one big cylinder around your waist, okay? So think of it like your abdominals, your transverse abdominis, your uh, quadratus lumborum in the back. There's, there's a lot of different muscles that en en encompass the core muscles, and um, it, just think of it like a big, big um, cylinder, and it starts at your diaphragm and goes down to your pelvic floor. So how do we run through and how do we actually actively engage the core muscles? So the first thing we're gonna have to do is learn how to actually breathe properly. So this is a, a big issue for a lot of people. When I ask people to take a deep breath, uh, the first thing that they do is look like this. And they'll take, they'll, you'll see their shoulders kind of rise up and then um, and that's all that will move. Problem with this is you're not actively getting a proper breathing there. You're not fully expanding your lungs. You're not properly getting enough oxygen into your body. So to do a proper breath, you're gonna actually want to, and I'll, I'll demonstrate this on the mat in a second, but you're gonna wanna see your stomach rise and then fall, well, first, first rise and then your chest rises, then your chest falls, then your uh, stomach falls. And um, that would be the first step. The second step in this core uh, strengthening exercises is to learn how to uh, actively engage the core muscles while breathing. Then you will actively engage the core muscles and breathe at the same time. And then um, you'll do that actively engaging and breathing while moving, okay? So again, it starts with learning how to breathe properly then learn how to actively engage your core muscles, then learn how to breathe while actively engaging your core muscles, and then to breathe, move, and engage your core muscles at the same time. So let's start with phase one, how to breathe. So the way to practice this, the best way that I've found to learn how to practice this is actually on your, on your back, okay? Because this way you can actually feel how your stomach or your chest is expanding when you're doing this. So you'll get on your back, Put your hand, one hand on your stomach, and then one hand on your chest. Then you'll start to take a deep breath in. Now, I, I like to breathe in through the nose um, because there's a lot of different like hairs and stuff like that which can catch things that are not really supposed to be going down into your, into your body there. Some people you know, like to breathe in through the mouth. Uh, if you have to, uh, you can do that, but ideally you'd want to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. As you breathe in through the nose, again, that softens um, the air, filters out a lot of the stuff that's not supposed to be going into your respiratory tract. So, so you'll start by breathing in through the nose. So, so again, hand here, hand here. So I'll show you that again. So you should see, first things first, my stomach should rise. So you might need to just practice that for a little while. So just. So again, watch it again. Stomach rises, after that rises, chest expands, and then you breathe out through the mouth. You see the chest fall and stomach fall afterward. Okay, so let's do that all, I'll just do that all in one motion. And that's how you do a, a, a proper full deep breath. So that's phase, phase one. Phase two is to learn how to engage the core muscles. So let me walk you through these. The top part engages itself, okay? That's the diaphragm. 
The rest of the muscles, you'll just try to tighten up the, feel the back tightening up, feel the sides tightening up, and feel the uh, abdo abdominals tightening up. So feel all those tighten up. And then again, the, the, the best way I could describe how to actually actively engage the, um, the pelvic floor is you want to kind of contract your glutes, but also contract the um, muscles as if you were trying to like hold it holds your pee or poop. So you're trying to trying to keep things in. So so you'll contract the sides and contract the pelvic floor, and just like that. And that's phase two. So again. Diaphragm takes care of itself, actively engaging all the core muscles around front, back, and side, and the bottom. Okay, that's phase two. Third phase: actively engage all the muscles while breathing. So you'll so you'll just relax all the muscles, then you'll contract everything, and then relax everything. Contract everything. Take a deep breath. and then relax everything. This may be difficult for you at first, learning how to actually contract the muscles and breathe at the same time, but it's uh, definitely a worthwhile experience learning how to do that. So that would be phase three, okay? The fourth phase is learn how to do motion while breathing and actively contracting. So some of the motions that you could do are, are, are simple, like core strengthening exercises. We'll start with an easy one, uh, just a, a, a simple plank. So do a plank. You'll take your arms, forearms out in front of you, and then you could either do it, you know, on your knees, or you could straighten out, whatever you want. So get into get into that plank position. So you'll actively engage, and then breathe. Just like that, and you can hold that for, you know as long as you'd like to. You know, ideally, you wanna be able to do that for at least 30 seconds, 30 seconds to a minute, two minutes, three minutes. I mean, I think I've seen the world record on that. It's like an hour or two hours or three hours or something, I don't know, but it's a long time you could do that exercise. Um, that's a, a, a straight plank. You could also do a core position, which you were doing like a side plank. So taking your forearm underneath your shoulder area, stacking your feet on top of each other, and then bringing up your hips. Again, making sure you're contracting the Kegels, contracting the pelvic floor, and then the diaphragm takes care of itself, abdominals, and, and, and back. And you can hold that for, you know, four deep breaths, 30 seconds, however you want to do it. Again, make sure you're not holding your breath. If you see yourself kind of slouching down, you know, just engage it. You don't want to be rolling forward or backwards with this exercise. You want to just be stacked up directly. Um, I guess that would be uh, perpendicular to the floor. And then um, what else do you want to do? This? So that would be two different ones. You can do that on both sides, obviously. And then there's, there's I mean, there's a, this is something you're going to want to focus on no matter what while you're up and engaged. This is a good practice to get into is, is keeping good posture, keeping good core, uh, core uh, strengthening when you're doing things. Um, how about one last one, and that would be uh, kind of like a, it's called a boat, or V up, or what do you want to call it? So you're just legs straight, arms out in front of you. Uh, keep that, make sure you're not slouching down in the, in the lower back. And just breathing through that. And that, is how you do core strengthening. Enjoy.